The old town hasn't changed all that much, has it, Iris? Are you going down, Cass? Well, I was, Iris, but I could stay up for you. Oh. Well, in that case, I'm all yours. Well, in that case, this is all yours. What is it? It's a little late for Valentine's Day, isn't it? I think it's so serendipitously wonderful, our meeting like this. I didn't even know you were back in town. How nice. A subpoena. Requesting the pleasure of your testimony at Felicia's trial. Well, it's not unexpected. I'm sure it's not. No, when I returned from France to hear that you, Vivian, hadn't called me, I thought, who would put a little joke like that, Cats? You thought that, did you? I'm so flattered. And now this stunt? My. I assure you, it's not a stunt. Whatever it is, Cass, I've got nothing to hide. Iris. Oh, hi. Did you think we could have a few words together? Yes, of course, Felicia. Good. I'll leave her all to you, Felicia. You. Excuse me, please. I'll see you soon, Iris. In court, in fact. Why don't we find a nice quiet uh, spot, Whatever shall you we? like, but are you sure you should be out in the public eye like this? I mean, you could be the target for all sorts of malicious gossip. Do me a favor, Iris. Cut the phone you're concerned. You and I have a score to settle. Shall we? Please. A score? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Rachel told me. Told you what? That you were the one to release my book early. Because <laughs> you wanted to capitalize on the sensationalism. <gasps> Trust Rachel to distort the truth. Don't dance around this, Iris. Oh, I'm not. How dare you? How dare you use me to boost your sales? Tell me something. When did you figure all this out? Was it the night before or was it the next morning? When did you stop thinking about everybody else but the money? Maybe you'll thank me when the royalty checks start thank rolling you? in, yes. I suppose it never dawned on you that you might just be hurting me. That you might turn public opinion against me. Oh, come on, Felicia. The public adore you. You're exaggerating. You're just, you're just overreacting. Am I? Really? Yes. You know, I kind of think Mac wouldn't think that way. I mean, isn't that why he got so angry at you? Isn't that why you left town? Listen, whatever happened between my father and myself is private. And so was the reason why I left town. But here's some information from you. Daddy and I have never been closer. Ah, oh, nice. Well, I, I personally am thrilled to death you're back. Tickle pink. Now Cass can ask you all sorts of interesting questions. Cass can ask what he likes. But the answers will be a whole lot less than interesting. Mm, I don't know about that. Cass is pretty positive that you were more involved with Jason than well, any of us ever knew. Oh, God. I know Cass's theory, that somebody else killed Jason. <laughs> Quite frankly, I think it's absurd. Absurd, really? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, you took the responsibility right from the beginning, didn't you? You think it was an accidental shooting, don't you? What it all boils down to is the fact that you don't want to live with the thought that you were responsible for Jason's death. I don't. Isn't it a pity the police don't accept that accidental shooting story? Get out of here, Iris. Stay away from me, get out of here, all. You what? Hmm? Push me over the balcony? Or shoot me? Accidentally, of course. <laughs>